hello you are welcome back to my channel today we'll be looking at making this hair bonnet it's very simple so let's go right in into the tutorial so basically we need bridal satin and some ankara fabric and maybe a tape measure and 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 then an elastic you can use the smaller ones that is the smaller inches and then a tape measure so i'll fold my fabric into four like how we normally cut a flare and then I'll measure 12 inches all around to cut a flare so I'll be moving it around yes okay, so I'll mark it and then I will make sure I get a round circle then I'll cut it out I'll cut it out so here I'm cutting the Ankara fabric here. So I'll be using that one to cut the second fabric. So that is the bridal satin. That one is folded into four. And then I put it there and it's also the same 12 inches. And so I'll also use the same measurement and then cut it all around so that I can get two circular fabrics, which is 12 by 12 yes that's the radius of the the circle we are cutting it's 12 by 12. this this hair bonnet is going to be enough to even accommodate your braided hair it's not too small so it's going to be very comfortable so i decided to use 12. so after cutting them together i'm going to bring right sides to each other as you can see i laid it on the table I'm going to put the two sides together and then I'm going to mark all around it and run a garden stitch around it all around the edges of the, the circle it's quite big so running the circle around it is going to make it more circular you know our head is somehow circular so that it can fit so you run two garden stitch all around it so i'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and then do it now i'm back so i'm going to pull it you have to be careful when you're pulling it because mine was coming off so it was a little difficult for me to so try and pull it so i pulled it and then i i pulled it to um my measurement was supposed to be 32 inches so here I was still trying to pull the goddess through the circle and it was somehow difficult I don't know why it was ripping off and I had to redo it again so now I had to measure the circle the the circumference of the goddess uh, circle are done and my measurement was supposed to be 32 my measurement was supposed to be 32 so I was still measuring it because I was using my hand it was a little difficult so I, I finally got it was 33 so I had to now pull it so that it also be 32 now I had to prepare two stripes one for the bridal satin and one for the Ankara which is about two and a half inches it's about two and a half inches width and the longness was uh, the 32 inches so 32 inches i put the right size together and i i have to we have to put the right size together and then you take it to the sewing machine and sew it here i had sewn it already and i have pressed it and i press the same allowance that i can sew on my my hair bonnet so now i put it together and then i sew this side so that it will be able to come to so now it's also going to be like a circle so that i can now be able to fix it on the hair bonnet so right now i'm fixing the ankara part first so i'll pin it all throughout i'll pin it all throughout so that i'm going to sew that part first with the sewing allowance there and it will be attached to the place where i had guarded so i had to pin it it's quite easy you know i had to pin it round around the whole the circumference of the 
of the hair bonnet to make sure that um, my band is equal to the circumference of my uh, um, my hair bonnet so after sewing i saw i after after doing this i had to take it to the sewing machine and stitch it after stitching it yeah i was still pinning so this one you'll be pinning it so that you get it so after stitching it i'm going to bring it back and then show you what i have so here I'm done and then I'm done with the first part. So I have to sew the inside one. That is the bridal satin part too. So it's already been folded. You see how nice it's looking. So I had to take it to the sewing machine and then sew it again. And I'll leave a small space so that I can fix my my elastic. Now I measured my last my head and my head and it was about 17. So I reduced it to 15. And then I use a tape measure. I use a safety pin, and then I, I, I took it through the small space I left in the hair bonnet. The small space I left in the hair bonnet. So here, I have to push it through so that it will be elastic and fit and be very comfortable to whoever is wearing it. It will not be too tight on your head. But it wouldn't fall off because of the elastic. So I had to push it through the the space, the band. Uh -huh. So it was going through it. And then it's, it's, it's not so difficult to do. You just have to have patience so that you do it slowly and it will go through it for you. And it will come off very nicely if you take your time. It's very simple. It's very simple. This one is a reversible hair bonnet such that you can use both sides. Depending on so after pulling it out, then I will take it to the sewing machine and then secure the plastic band so that it will not come off and then close the little space to let I let the then we are basically done here i'm done so i'm going to wear it so that you see how it looks like it's very nice and very simple to do it's very nice and simple to do you can do some for yourself and maybe your daughter you can do as many as you like and okay so this is me wearing it it's very comfortable you see how rounded is it can accommodate your braided hair and this is the other side of it thank you and subscribe to my channel